Hello guys! On anatomy lesson number two, we are going to be focusing on the neck and shoulders, specifically the muscles and the bones that show up whenever you're drawing them. But part one, before we get started, is to make sure you've collected each of these images either digitally or in paper, depending how you're working, and you are going to be adding the skeleton, the quote-unquote skeleton, the stick figure basically, um, using the gesture drawing method that you've already learned. So just draw over top of the images exactly where that gesture drawing skeleton would be in a graphite pencil. As always, if you're working digitally, add it on a new layer. Okay, let's take a look at the skeleton from the profile view. So you can see here as I'm tracing this, the curve of the spine, it has a kind of S curve. So what's important at this point in time is that the neck is going forward or it's pushing the head forward it's curving it forward so it's not a straight uh, vertical line especially from that profile also on the neck and shoulders we need to be aware of these collarbones here that I'm highlighting in yellow they're going to stick out a little bit in some cases not all just in the same way that you might see the cheekbones or temporal bones depending on how much they uh, protrude on a particular person before we get started, go ahead and gather your Prismacolors and a pencil and of course your sketchbook. Now let's take a look at the muscles of the neck and shoulders. The first one we're going to talk about is this one in green here. This is called the SCM or sternocleidomastoid. Get ready, you're going to be tested on that. Just kidding! <laughs> it doesn't really matter what the name is, just as long as we know that it's there. So this is the muscle that you will often see protruding quite a bit if someone is really um, turning their neck in a weird or extreme measure um, sometimes it protrudes a lot on people just naturally because everybody is a little bit different even though we share a similar anatomy whenever you're drawing this though i want you to go ahead and do these contour lines the contour lines are going to help give us the form to each of these muscles which are going to translate into our drawings and make them look more three-dimensional rather than flat. So in this case, the contour lines are going to just curve over top of that bump. Think of it as a cylinder that's getting skinnier as it gets closer to that point where it meets on our clavicle or collarbone or sternum. So let's talk about that collarbone. Fun fact, this is one of the most frequently broken bones in the human body. Now, this uh, collarbone or clavicle um, really doesn't stick out in the middle where it connects to the muscles, but it will stick out again on some people um, kind of to the left and right of that center area. So sometimes you're going to see basically a bump there whenever you're drawing. If you are working from your mind, it's up to you to decide how much of that is showing. If you're working from an image, this is something you're going to pay attention to. And last but not least, we are going to use blue to map out this group of what I'm just going to familiarly call shoulder muscles. Um, I want to say there's like three or four, probably more muscles. I don't know. I'm not an anatomy expert as far as the tons of muscles that are in the body. But this is a major group that we are going to see in our drawing. Um, so notice I added again the contour lines on this group of muscles as well as on the clavicle. So make sure you're always doing that with this method for now. You're probably going to get sick of hearing me say this, but again, every person is different. And you'll notice that this muscle here will sort of <laughs> bump up if you've got a very muscular man or woman who is doing a lot of bodybuilding type exercises. Um, it depends what type of person you're trying to draw. So if it is that muscular man, it's going to have a bump in between the shoulder joint and the insertion point on the neck. Part two of the assignment. Now that you've learned those major muscles that we're going to include in the neck and shoulders, you're going to come in and with those different colors, I'm okay if you choose different colors than mine, but use your Prisma colors to trace over where those muscles and bones would fall on each of those images. Yes, you heard me right on each and every one of those images. 
I've got a run through, I believe, of each of the photos and how I traced over top of them. Um, but if you don't need to see this, you can go ahead and skip to 9.55.
After doing that, you should be ready for part three of the assignment, which is to flip back in your sketchbook to the front and back um, male and female models and add these muscles, add these neck and shoulder muscles. You're going to draw them again using the, cr uh, not cross contour, the contour lines. And then once you've done that, you can erase it back a bit and use what you can still see to help guide your line drawing to show what protrudes like the neck muscles or the clavicle or what dips in like the point where um, those neck muscles meet at the clavicle that has a little bit of a dip. Add faces in the back of the head to your models. Um, you probably don't need to see me doing that but I did go ahead and include it but you can skip to 1145 in the video to bypass me drawing the faces on mine. For part four of the assignment, the last part of this particular video's work, you're going to turn back to the five different heads and gesture drawn bodies with different positions um, in your sketchbook and find the one that you did the planar analysis on. This is the only one you're going to be working on at this time. You need to erase it back ever so slightly so you can still see your lines a bit, but then you can go over top of those lines with um, the muscles that you just learned. Don't forget to include the contour lines that show the curve in the muscles or the bones. Um, and once you finish that, you are done with this video. Good luck and have fun.